Hey guys, this week, Jake Gyllenhaal continues his streak of challenging roles by appearing as a ridiculously ripped boxer in Antoine Fuqua's Southpaw. Industry pundits are already betting on Gyllenhaal scoring some long overdue acting nominations for his work as Billy Hope, a successful boxer who has to rebuild his life after his wife's death sends him into a downward spiral. And the odds look pretty good when you consider Hollywood's long-running love affair with a good boxing movie. Filmmaking and boxing pair up beautifully. They seem to bring out the best work of the people involved and they've given us some fantastic stories over the years. Ever since 1931's The Champ became the first boxing movie, and the first sports-based movie for that matter, to be nominated for Best Picture, dozens of nominations have been handed out over the years to movies and actors who've stepped into the ring. So we decided to look back at the five greatest movie boxers of all time. Number 5. Mickey O'Neill in Snatch In a movie that's overflowing with quotable lines, one of the most memorable characters is the one we can't understand at all. Hey, look. So what's a heck of two roof lights? Uh, the sound house frame furniture. And the uh, scarf cushions with the uh, mats and shack pack cover. When Brad Pitt's one-punch machine gun Mickey isn't dealing in caravans or dags, <clears throat> excuse me, dogs, he's creating havoc as a bare-knuckle gypsy boxer. Mickey quickly establishes that he's a force to be reckoned with when he cripples a boxing promoter's top prize fighter after a caravan sale goes sideways leaving our protagonist no choice but to beg Mickey to take his place or face the ire of a notorious gangster. He agrees, but the pair soon learn that there is simply no controlling this feisty, incomprehensible pikey. Things just go from bad to worse as Mickey either refuses to take a dive or simply underestimates his own strength and knocks out the opponents he's been obliged to lose to. It all culminates with a brutal, hyper-stylized bout that sees Mickey take a serious pounding before pulling the rug out from all the players involved. Number 4, Maggie Fitzgerald in Million Dollar Baby. Hilary Swank bagged her second Oscar for the sheer determination and heartbreaking emotion on display as Maggie Fitzgerald, a 31-year-old waitress desperately clinging to her dream of making it as a professional boxer. In her first scene, she begs Clint Eastwood's jaded coach character to train her, and she simply will not take no for an answer, training at his gym day and night until she eventually wins him over. Swank does impressive work portraying the physical progression of her craft as she trains with intense discipline and Frankie Dunn's guidance. Rising from an awkward, garbage-eating survivor to a confident, powerful boxer rising rapidly through the ranks. The highs in Maggie's arc are matched by the crushing lows later in the film when Fitzgerald's impressive, undefeated streak is derailed by a freak accident. Great boxing movies are often about rooting for the underdog, and Maggie may be the ultimate underdog on this list, delivering a character we stand behind the entire way, no matter what her fate is. Number 3. Muhammad Ali in Ali in order to play the greatest, you've got to be one of the greatest. And luckily for fans of Michael Mann's Ali, Will Smith found a way to channel the legendary boxer in what many consider to be a career best performance. Smith reportedly spent a year bulking up to play Ali, spending long hours every day in the gym, studying Islamic culture, and working with a dialect coach to perfect Ali's particular speech patterns. You my enemy, not no Chinese, no Viet Cong, no Japanese, you my poser. The boxing scenes were touted at the time as being some of the most realistic ever staged, replacing typical shadow punches where the camera angle sells the hit with, you know, actual boxing. Of course the actors weren't trying to hurt each other, but they were making connection with as many punches as possible. All that hard work paid off with Smith earning his first Oscar nod and convincing mainstream audiences that he was much, much more than just a smart mouth kid from Bel Air. Number two, Jake LaMotta in Raging Bull. Robert De Niro's explosive performance as a real life pugilist Jake LaMotta yields by far the least likable character on this week's list. From the get-go, we're introduced to a smarmy, quick-tempered monster whose lack of control leads to one shockingly violent outburst after another, usually outside the ring. But no one else on this list takes a beating in as gruesome a fashion as LaMotta does later in the movie. The infamous third bout between Jake and Sugar Ray Robinson depicts some of the most unforgiving punches ever put on film, with blood exploding from De Niro's face with every vicious blow. Martin Scorsese directs these scenes with a watchmaker's precision and infuses them with an unforgettable intensity. And he famously shut down the production for four months, so Robert De Niro could go binge eating throughout Italy in order to gain 70 pounds before returning to portray LaMotta as an older nightclub owner. That insane devotion and attention to detail is what makes Jake LaMotta one of the greatest, despite being one of the worst. Number 1. Rocky Balboa in Rocky It's the obvious number one choice, but really, how could we go with any other movie boxer? I mean, think about it. Rocky was an instant success. The first movie became the top-grossing film of 1976, before stealing a surprise Best Picture Oscar from fellow nominees like Taxi Driver, Network, and All the President's Men. Sylvester Stallone notoriously fought for the right to play the signature role he wrote for himself, and with the release of Creed later this year, it's a role he's kept alive for almost 40 years. 
How many other actors can say that? Now, throughout that time, the Rocky series kept finding memorable opponents for its hero to square off against, even as he transitioned from boxing to coaching, but the films also challenged Rocky with quieter, everyday hurdles, like losing his wealth, and his family, and his friends, and menacing robots. Okay, just kidding. But the point is, Rocky's road has always been just that. Rocky. But he's endured for so long by always maintaining his downtrodden charm and integrity, no matter how high the odds were stacked against him, and that's why he's the greatest movie boxer of all time. So that's our take on movie boxers. Obviously, there are many more fantastic boxing performances out there, so please let me know your favorites in the comments. I fully expect to see names like Denzel Washington, Michelle Rodriguez, and Russell Crowe mentioned. And who knows, maybe in the near future I'll have to revisit this list to make a spot for Jake Gyllenhaal. The only way to find out is to check out Southpaw this weekend, and don't forget to come back to Ask Man every week for more fun movie lists.